welcome to this month's Ask the Expert. Uh, this month, I'm the expert. I'm Theo Bennett, the Director of Analytics and Data Solutions here at More Visibility. And this month's question has to do with cross-domain tracking. So this is a great question, and we get it a lot. And basically, what cross-domain tracking means is you have your website, and traffic comes to your website, but the final conversion, let's say a sale or lead submission form happens on another domain. So if your website is example.com, the conversion may take place on migratesite.com, uh, for example. And the traffic will flow through your site and ultimately the final thank you or receipt page rests on another domain. Now there's a couple things to consider um, regarding this scenario. And one is that by default, this will not get tracked uh, correctly in, in Google Analytics. Basically, even if you put the same coding on these two separate domains, they don't necessarily talk to each other because everything is cookie-based. And cookies are first party that Google Analytics uses. And first party means that if my site is example.com, all I can read is my cookies. And on migratesite.com, I can read migratesite.com cookies and not example.com cookies. And that's on purpose. Um, we can get overcome this hurdle so that we can see if you have a conversion or a sale over here on this second this third party site so that we can see how that person got to your site initially we want to know for all of these conversions that take place was that a google Anal uh, google adwords click was it a a bing click was it a shopping engine click we, you want to know this data because it's incredibly important to help optimize those campaigns and doing it better so by default it does not work the good news is, and the second part of this is, is that you can deploy customized tracking code on both sites to help you understand uh, that full flow, the full path of the visitor, how they initially got to your site. And that's the, the great news here. And there's two things that you have to know also about deploying this code. One is that in Universal Analytics, which is the new de facto analytics that if you're signed up for an account today, that's what you'll be running. Um, the good news is, is that Google Analytics has made it a little bit easier to do this. Um, there's two ways to do it. One is you can tag every single link on your website that goes between those two sites. Um, and that requires a lot of work on your part. Or you can use a new feature of Google Analytics called Autolink that actually does that for you. It's just a one line or two line customization actually to your Google Analytics tracking code to require the auto linker and then to tell Google Analytics to make sure that you, um, for any links going to this third party, you basically put, in my example before, you would say that um, you want auto link to work for migratesite.com, for example. And then what happens is that as somebody takes that leap to that third party site, the, uh, the link is what they call decorated, which just means that the analytics cookie data would be appended to it and the other site can harvest that information uh, and then you would be able to see that full and complete picture. So it's a two-line customization to your code. And then lastly, it does require you to do a special edit to the admin section of your web property to basically say that you would like these sites, the data to, to connect from these two sites. Um, and that's a simple thing. You can add an ignored referral. Uh, it's super simple to do. And if you have any further questions about it, please reach out to us at info at morevisibility.com.